Hey guys, so the next DC animated movie is about to hit the shelves. It's Batman Gotham by a Gaslight. Love my DC animated movie, so let's take a look at this trailer and see what it has to bring. Okay, so this sucker is rated R. Some violence. Let's go. Nice. Victorian era London. Ah, the Ripper. There's a butcher in this town preying on poor women, and the Gotham police stand twiddling their thumbs. Your evening attire. Ah, so Gotham City, of course. Soup. I need Alfred. Not London. I mean to rid Gotham of the Ripper. He's a skilled hunter, and he's just getting started. You're studying me. You're a fascinating subject. I like the animation. a pretty face. Bruce Wayne, you are under arrest. You can't imagine I'm actually the Ripper. The deluxe suite. I need to get out of here. Gotham needs the Batman. Every moment puts women in danger. <laughs> Hells yes, I will. Okay, that looked really cool. That's the DC animated universe delving into an, an Elseworlds story with Batman taking on Jack the Ripper in 1800s Gotham, because that's a thing. The voice talent for this is uh, Bruce Greenwood and Jennifer Carpenter from Dexter, and a really scary movie I love, The Exorcism of Emily Rose, which you, if you haven't checked out, that one is one scary movie. So I've always been fascinated with Jennifer Carpenter. So she's doing the voice of Selena Kyle, Bruce Greenwood doing the voice of Batman. The DC animated movie franchise has been pretty good in the most part. There are a lot of movies in the staple now, some really popular film titles. Um, judging by trailers, though, I do have to admit some of the trailers I've seen for these movies, I've not really been too impressed or looking forward to the movie at all, but I always pick them up on Blu-ray. Um, 4k if they're readily available more often than not I find myself more impressed with the movie than what the trailer actually shows you so the trailer to this look good it looked different and I love a good Elseworlds story Batman taking on the Ripper will be really exciting just keeping in style with the old style character animation of the old Batman Justice League Superman serial so obviously a lot more polished not saying it's not good at all it suits the story it suits this film universe perfectly and i absolutely love it and the voice talent they bring on for each individual movie is also uh, an absolute treat so most of these dc animated movies i do hold in high regard superman doomsday uh fantastic movie dark knight returns to name but a few flashpoint they're amazing movies and if they could get these stories down pat for the live action movie universe man would be totally cheering seeing justice league in a couple days so let's just see how that goes very excited uh can't wait to see what dc has got to bring to the table and i always look forward to the new dc animated movie as they're scheduled for release so i'm excited and i love the way that they kind of go into like a, a more adult field these movies are not necessarily aimed at children so if anybody's kind of like thinking that it's a superhero movie it's got batman it's got superman it's got wonder woman gonna whack it on for the kids read the back check the rating um, jump online and see or watch it yourself first because some of these movies do have a, a habit lately of dropping a couple cuss words. There's a bit of violence and sometimes a little bit of sexual innuendo. All the good stuff in life thrown into an animated movie featuring your favorite colorful superheroes. It's a good mix. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for checking out this trailer reaction. I look forward to seeing the movie. Don't forget to subscribe, throw me a thumbs up if you want to, and I'll catch you on the next video. Thanks for watching.